Okay. Well, whenever you're ready. Fine, ready. Well, we will then. Well, let's do it. Well, fine then. All right then. Okay. Here we go. I'm here at MCM with Steve Penfold, who created Moon, about a secret agent who is the moon. Is well, that yeah. sort of summing up of it? Well, basically, the best way to sum, up, sum it up is that the moon drops out of the sky early hours of every morning and has done for the last 2,000 years. And most recently, he puts on a suit, takes out a gun and fights ridiculous crime. It, it's a really sharp suit that the moon wears. It's not a bad suit, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, if nothing else, if you don't learn anything over 2,000 years, it should be how to dress how yourself. How to dress yourself. First time he drops out of the sky, he's got nothing on because, well, he wasn't expecting to come out of the sky. Uh, Understandable. And over the years, he's learned what he's doing. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. He's, he's chosen a suit. How did you come up with the idea of having the moon solving crime? Well, I can't, I can't lay claim for the, uh, the original idea. The original concept was Dan Thompson's, the writer. Okay. Um, it sort of developed over a long period of time, but initially it was a short film. Now, the title of the short film was uh, The Day the Moon Got Too Close, and it was for a, um, a film competition. Mm -hmm. uh, it was only a minute and a half long. So everybody else, they thought, oh, well, the moon gets too close, so obviously, you know, the tides rise, the waves, and, 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 you know, the standard stuff. Standard Not Dan. Dan decided that it, when the, moon, the day the moon got too close sounded like a special agent kind of story. So that's what he did. So it's a minute and a half of uh, literally moon as he appears on the front cover of the page. Yeah. In a car chase and a gunfight. As you do. Of course. And then the when we found out about it. Scale. <laughs> yeah. So we tried to make a longer version. Yeah. Uh, with no budget, which was ridiculous. And so we just thought that, well, I've always been able to draw, you know, I've been drawing comics for many years. So it just seemed obvious for us to be able to do it as a comic so we could show what we wanted to do in a budgetless manner. So effectively, if we had a billion dollars... This is, oh, that's what comics do. They give you the, the space to do whatever you can draw, whatever you can imagine. It's the reason why the most expensive movies in the world right now came from the pages of comic books. The, all, the only limit is the imagination of the person drawing and the, the, the person writing, that's it. So it's fair to say that this comic is fairly tongue-in-cheek in its approach to crime-fighting and superheroism. Yes, I think that's fair to say, given it, the main man has no face of which to speak, so yes. That makes drawing expressions much easier, I should imagine. Charles, it, yeah, it, what's interesting is that people warm to him because I think uh, he's like a mannequin. So when you, as you read it, he sort of, you apply your own feelings to you what's happening, you project onto Moon. Is that a little bit like cheating? <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe it might be. It might, well, actually, no, because there is a bit. Because every every so often, every so often, Dan will write something like "Moon looks sad." Okay. And in that situation, you have to try and figure out because then it you comes up. It's composition, precisely. So it becomes composition and how he stands, and you know, ah. and you use uh, pathetic fallacy. So you, you change the weather according to his moods and lighting according to frame of mind. And stuff That's like. interesting. That's a challenge. I, I feel bad for saying you were cheating now. Oh no, I'm quite happy to be. That's You're quite right. happy with that. If I found an easy way of doing it, I'd, I'd use it. The only reason I'm not point. cheating is because I haven't found a way to yet. Fair enough. <laughs> no, that's not true. We're, <laughs> we're a highly, highly professional, serious, creative team. Professional. Absolutely. Serious. I'm not looking for an easy way to draw. You're not just drawing stuff that you personally think is funny. <laughs> well, yeah, that too. Yeah. Every so often there's a chicken. As if, just, just because. Oh, there's also a mysterious toad that reappears on a regular basis. Mm. He's not in the script. It's Has just it in every name? issue. No, he's just a mysterious toad. So at the beginning of the story, there's, he's, it's 2,000 years ago, yeah. and the mysterious toad is there. Now, the reason he's mysterious is because it cuts to the modern day, and somehow the mysterious toad's still around. That, that seems pretty mysterious. You're sure it's the same toad? I am. You are? I am. Are you sure? I'm not completely. You still. don't look sure. The I'll characters tend to take on a life of their own after a little while, so... I, th I think that's how all the best stories develop, really. This is it. They, they, he may well be a different toad. This is, this is the thing. Um, One day this cliffhanger will be You have be an solved. idea to begin with, and yeah, if a character's good enough, they should just walk off the page. To us. I see you at every Comic-Con. I always see people coming up and getting involved and loving Moon, and there's, there's a lot of love for this character. So you've clearly created something that is exceedingly unique. The fans have been absolutely mind-blowing. Like, we, we couldn't ask for anything better. They let us know, you know, how much they enjoy it. So it, it just... It keeps us motivated. When you're doing an indie comic, long term like this, it can be quite draining. It's a labour uh, of love. It is, and, and every time someone comes up and you know tells us how much they've enjoyed a, a copy of Moon, it just puts us straight back on the on the track. It's great. It's fantastic. For people that aren't at Comic Con, what's your website? Where can they find out more about the Moon? You want to head to www.beyondthebunker.com. And everything we see here, we've got 86 prints available, we've got six posters, we've got four issues with two with alternative covers, plus a colouring and activity book, the only one in the world with a plot twist. Yeah. 
Um, all of that is available on, on uh, beyondthebunker.com. So loads of awesome things and no social life, it sounds like. I know, that's why we've got the website, in order to give me a social life. Ah. So free me up on weekends. Cunning. If they buy it online, I can every so often not turn up at a con. I don't know about that, because we love seeing you. Well, I'll always be at MCM. Thank you for talking to me. This stuff is cool. Thank you very much. It is awesome. Very much appreciated. Yay. Thanks, all the best. Take care. Thanks.